Steve Lawrence was a versatile actor and singer whose career spanned decades. In the late 50s, he achieved stardom alongside his wife, Edie Gourmet, as the dynamic duo Steve and Edie. Their harmonious blend of voices and genre-spanning repertoire garnered widespread acclaim and chart-topping hits. Beyond his collaborative success, Steve Lawrence carved out a remarkable solo career, earning a Grammy for his poignant rendition of Edie, I'm Gonna Miss You, in 1963. But behind the scenes, there was a lot of sadness in his life that needs to be re-examined. Facts First presents the tragic death of Steve Lawrence and his wife and son who died before him. Steve Lawrence's Early Life and Career Growing up in a working-class family, Steve Lawrence discovered his passion for music at a young age. Encouraged by his parents, he began performing in local talent shows and radio programs, captivating audiences with his remarkable voice. His early experiences in Brooklyn laid the foundation for a career that spanned more than six decades. In the mid-50s, Steve made a significant breakthrough in his career. He caught the attention of talent scouts and record producers, leading to a recording contract with King Records. This pivotal moment marked the start of his solo career, as he released several singles under his birth name, Sidney Leibowitz. Despite these early efforts, commercial success remained elusive. The turning point came when he teamed up with singer Edie Gourmet. Their duo, Steve and Edie, quickly became a musical force to be reckoned with. Their chemistry and complementary voices captivated audiences, and they soon gained widespread recognition in the entertainment industry. Their dynamic performances, spanning genres from pop and jazz to traditional standards, resonated with a diverse audience. Their popularity soared as they continued to release chart-topping hits, earning them a devoted fan base. Their rendition of Go Away Little Girl became a number one hit in 1963, solidifying their status as one of the most beloved musical pairs of the era. As Steve and Edie conquered the music scene, Lawrence's individual talent continued to shine as well. In 1963, he received a Grammy Award for Best Solo Performance for his heartfelt rendition of Edie, I'm Gonna Miss You. The solo success underscored his versatility and established him as a formidable solo artist. He also ventured into acting, showcasing his skills as a performer. He made notable appearances on television shows like The Ed Sullivan Show and The Carol Burnett Show. His Career Achievements Among his most popular songs, Go Away Little Girl stands out as a career-defining hit. Released in 1962, the song quickly ascended to the top of the charts making Lawrence the youngest male artist at the time to have a number one single. The song's catchy melody and Lawrence's emotive delivery resonated with audiences, solidifying his status as a vocal powerhouse. The collaborative efforts of Steve and Edie resulted in numerous hits that showcased their harmonious blend. Their songs often had an infectious optimism, and the duo's synchronized vocals made it a fan favorite and a staple in their repertoire. Their ability to seamlessly navigate various genres, from pop to jazz to traditional standards, contributed to their enduring popularity. As a solo artist, Steve achieved significant success with the album Portrait of My Love. Released in 61, it featured a collection of romantic ballads and showcased his vocal range and emotional depth. The title track, Portrait of My Love, became one of his signature songs. In the realm of acting, his foray into film and television further underscored his talents. One of his most memorable roles was in the iconic 1980 musical comedy The Blues Brothers. Lawrence played Maury Sline, the manager of The Blues Brothers themselves. The movie, of course, featured a star-studded cast, and Lawrence's presence alongside John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd added a touch of musical magic to the mix. He reprised his role for the sequel, Blues Brothers 2000. His TV appearances showcased his acting skills, his frequent guest spots on The Ed Sullivan Show and The Carol Burnett Show highlighted his comedic talents as well. A quick mention should be made of some of the other acting roles he had. He appeared on shows like Sanford and Son, Murder, She Wrote, Police Story, The New Dick Van Dyke Show, Medical Center, and many more. He also appeared in films like The Christmas Pageant, Phillips, The Yards, The Lonely Guy, and Stand Up and Be Counted. The Tragic Death of Steve Lawrence and His Wife and Son Who Died Before Him Edie Gourmet, born Edith Gormizano on August 16, 1928, was a renowned American singer and performer whose multifaceted career spanned several decades. Her life and artistic journey were marked by exceptional vocal talent, 
collaboration with Steve Lawrence, and the tragic loss of their son. Gourmet's career began in the 1950s when she gained attention for her solo recordings, showcasing a captivating voice that effortlessly navigated various musical genres. In 1953, she scored a major hit with the Spanish language song Amor, which established her as a versatile artist with cross cultural appeal. Her ability to effortlessly switch between English and Spanish songs contributed to her widespread popularity. Tragedy struck the Lawrence Gourmet family in 1966 when their son Michael died at age 23. Michael, who had been battling a heart condition, passed away while on a family vacation in Aspen, Colorado. The loss of their beloved son was a devastating blow, leaving a void that forever changed the dynamics of their family. The sadness in Steve Lawrence's life deepened with the passing of Edie Gourmet August 10, 2013. She succumbed to respiratory failure following a brief illness at age 84. The loss of Gourmet marked the end of a remarkable partnership and love story that had endured for more than five decades. Steve Lawrence mourned not only the loss of a musical collaborator, but also a life partner with whom he'd shared the highs and lows of both their personal and professional journeys. The grief in Steve Lawrence's life was compounded by the earlier tragedy of losing his son. The profound sorrow stemming from the deaths of both Edie and Michael undoubtedly had a lasting impact on his emotional well-being. On June 27, 2019, Steve Lawrence passed away at age 83. His death marked the end of a storied career that had spanned music, television, and film. The sadness in his later years was palpable, having endured the loss of both his life partner and their son. Steve's death was not just the conclusion of a remarkable career, but also the final chapter in a life marked by artistic brilliance, enduring love, and the profound impact of personal tragedy. In reflecting on the intertwined lives and careers of Steve and Edie, their story is one of extraordinary talent, enduring love, and the resilience required to navigate the deepest sorrows life can bring. The legacy they leave behind is not only in their contributions to the arts, but also in the indomitable spirit with which they faced life's most challenging moments. Their legacy lives on, and their songs are still sung by fans to this day. As solo artists and as a duo, their work has been appreciated, and we can only expect this to continue for several generations to come. As we enjoy their music, let's also admire their courage and ability to go on after facing such tragedy. And even after Edie passed away, Steve realized he had to keep performing. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Steve Lawrence's music and acting work? Do you have a favorite album or film of his? Let us know in the comments section below.